let's end with uh, the angry wailings of Greg Kelly, um, who uh, Millie the Swamp Hero. This is the same deal. So we're gonna f we'll finish on this. Greg Kelly, all the reasons not to like Mark Milley. Well, one of the reasons is he was appointed by Trump, I guess. To so there you go. It's glory. There they are. Hold Ninety on. percent of them. Hold on. Ah, the swamp in all its the swamp. It's the U.S. government, fucko. It is the elected representatives of the people. Many of them newly uh, elected. Many of them uh, elected over and over and over again. Glory. There they are. 90% of them, I am convinced, are there not for us, but for themselves. They're in it for the status, the fame, the potential fortunes. <laughs> uh, project much? Not us, not us, including, although right now he's a swamp hero, General Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Ooh, the swamp loves this guy more than ever. Now, um, really, he was appointed by the guy who was going to drain the swamp, though. Isn't that weird? Normal people, of course, have contempt for this guy because, oh, yeah, he recently was a key reason why we lost the war in Afghanistan. We didn't lose the war in Afghanistan. And fuck you for shitting on our troops. In a healthy culture, a guy like Milley would already be in the process of resigning. He'd be out the door. No, in the Biden administration, they love him. The president uh, has complete confidence in his leadership, his patriotism, and his fidelity to our Constitution. I can't speak to the former president's uh, experience with him or the former president's views of him. But the, this president, this current president, uh, who follows the Constitution, who's not fomenting an insurrection, who follows the rule of law, has complete confidence in Chairman Milley. And so obviously he'd have a very different opinion. <laughs> ...continuing to serve in his role. Okay, well, they like him because they owe him, perhaps. It looks like General Milley was playing footsie with the Biden team while he was chairman of the Joint Chiefs under President Trump. That seems very, very clear. Does it? What kind of footsie? I mean, socks off, or is it a serious game of footsie? There are a lot of reasons to not like General Milley. There are a lot of reasons General Milley should have been fired a long time ago. Probably because Trump appointed him as a Trump appointee. I mean, an automatically suspect. I can see how you would think that because obviously Trump does, is a terrible judge of human beings. I mean, he likes you. So clearly he doesn't know shit from Shinola when it comes to, you know, the human soul. So I, you know, there, yeah, there's a lot of issues obviously with anybody that Trump has hired in the past because, you know, he kept telling us, you know, those are the best people, those are the best people, it's always the best people. And then all of them turn out to be like, closet democrats who just got him coffee and fucked the whole pooch and he had a way better plan but he listened to these assholes by president trump himself and i know he regrets not doing oh he does sorry what fired a long time ago even by president trump himself and i know he regrets not doing that right now the does current he? does he <laughs> why because he didn't let him attack china in the middle of the night bub is about the new book peril uh, by Bob Woodward and Robert Acosta. No, Robert, and, uh, Robert Costa. There's no A on it. This is uh, the whole Fuhrer. It's just a book publicity campaign. It's a lot of nonsense. Okay, so you don't believe. Why are you picking on Millie then? <laughs> if it's a lot of nonsense and it's just a media campaign, then... Um, just remember this. Bob Woodward is a liar. He All right, well then why are you bothering Millie? Why aren't you coming to Millie's defense? Why don't you come out and go, Millie doesn't deserve this. Millie would never do anything like this. Bob Woodward is a liar. Anything he said about him is a lie. He's a lying son of a liar. For a long, long time. That's why we're never going to really be able to substantiate what's in this book. Yeah, So, but, but that's not going to stop you from shitting on Millie based on it as you go, right? That's... No, even though you can't substantiate it, even though you think Bob Woodward's a liar, this is the trap they find themselves in. This is where the Republicans always find themselves. They always shit on the New York Times until they find an article in the New York Times that supports their conclusion. They're like, even the New York Times says it. And like, okay, now it's a valid uh, messenger. Okay. Um, he did it in All the President's Men. That whole thing about deep throat and signaling deep throat with the flag and getting a signal on the... Metro page and the New York Times. It was just all nonsense, all made up. The no, that's in the script, fucko. Meetings with 
Um, Hal Holbrook in the movie, Deep Throat himself. Again, fiction. I know it's fiction. I've been there. This guy made it up. You, he had, you've been, he's been to the parking lot at the Watergate. Idea that decades later, journalism students would still be reading the book. It was a cheap trick to make money on a book and no idea would have such legs. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, all the president's man has legs because it, it tells the story of them exposing corruption that brought down President Nixon. That would be the, that would be one of the reasons why it has legs. The way Woodward also lied about Bill Casey, the CIA director under Ronald Reagan in his book Vale. He writes another tall tale that Bill Casey told him Iran Contra was Reagan's operation from his deathbed. Everybody who knows anything about that case knows that Bob Woodward once again made it up. So, so why are you shitting on Milley? Why the fuck are you going after General Milley? Why wouldn't you just say, none of this is true. Milley would never do anything like this. This is ridiculous. I, uh, he's a Trump appointee. He may not be the most perfect person, but uh, Bob Woodward, rah, rah, rah. Uh, Bob Woodward does have a way in Washington, and he can be quite seductive, apparently. Look, he got into the Trump White House and actually sat down for many interviews with Donald Trump. He recorded many of those interviews, many hours of interviews. Uh-huh, and there's a big fear that they're going to come out? Were recorded. Bob Woodward only lets out a couple of snippets here and there. And, well, the context is totally gone. We have to trust him, and you shouldn't. Listen to this. It's also more deadly than your, you know, your even your strenuous flus. You know, people don't realize we lose 25,000, 30,000 people a year here. Who, who would ever think that, right? I know. It's I mean, it's pretty forgotten. amazing. And uh, then I say, well, is that the same thing? For, this is uh, more for deadly. This is five per... You know, this is 5% versus 1% and less than 1%. You know, so this is deadly stuff. Oh, and therefore Donald Trump knew all this, uh, how lethal the coronavirus was and wasn't telling the public. Look, he doesn't yeah. tell you what he said right after that, what he said before that, and all those other hours of conversation. Yeah, I mean, obviously he followed this up with, but, you know, I, I, I'm going to come out and tell everybody the truth. You know what happened before and after this part of the conversation? Um, he hid this from the public, and he hid this from the public. That's what happened. Jesus. Take things out of context, and he also... Out of context. The context was hundreds of thousands of Americans died from COVID. Makes things up. There are conversations, conversations, quotation marks... When there was no tape recording, he writes stuff that is unknowable. All right, that takes us back. So then why are you bothering? I mean, it, you don't even. There's no reason for you to shit on Millie then. None. Uh, our woke general of the moment. I want to understand white rage and I'm white and I want to understand it. All right, so look, I don't know the details of that phone call with the Chinese general. Well, then stop acting like you do and leave him the fuck alone. It is possibly customary for generals in this country to call generals in other country. It probably happened. It is. Time. But here's why Millie should have been jettisoned a long time ago. Because Trump appointed him? Remember when Donald Trump uh, went to St. John's Chapel? To hold and a, yeah. Why don't you play the audio on this one? Is that your Bible? It's a Bible. A Bible. You know how offensive that was to the swamp? I mean, how dare he? After those rioters tried to burn it down, he would go to a church and hold... He went outside a church. He didn't go to the church. He didn't go to a, he didn't go to a service there after they'd opened it back up. He didn't walk through it with one of the, uh, the clergy that was there. He didn't inspect the damage. He went out and stood in front of it, holding a Bible up like he'd found it on the floor. A Bible. That offended the swamp to no end. Hey. Well, yeah, because he obviously doesn't read it, and he was holding it upside down. What's in front of that church now? A Black Lives Matter banner. It's going to be there forever. That's there right now. 
Does that make any sense? No, but that's the swamp for you. So what? how is how is the church putting up Black Lives Matter the swamp? Do justice, love kindness, walk humbly with your God. Uh, that's the offensive part. I can't I walk humbly with your God. Excuse me. You don't walk humbly with your God. You have the military with you as you walk out and stand in front of a church and you hold the Bible up and like like you you found an Easter egg. That's I mean, honestly. Back to Millie. You know about this by now. He crossed the street with President Trump. He wasn't even in the picture, but he made such a federal case out of this moment. You know why? He wanted to get in with the Bidens. He wanted to signal to the swamp and to Joe, I'm with you. Which is why Trump appointed him. Trump appointed all of his generals and, you know, and he, he chose this guy. Why else would he apologize? Many of you saw the result of the photograph of me at Lafayette Square last week. That sparked a national debate about the role of the military in civil society. Right. I should not have been there. Right. But yeah, don't be there. Agreed. It's, it's tin pot dictator bullshit. Since in that moment and in that environment created a perception of the military involved in domestic politics. Such a strange guy. He owed no one an apology. And by the way, as I showed you last night, he made so many political observations in that same speech, at the same time apologizing for the appearance of... Hey, Trump hires the best people, man. I don't know why you're shitting on Trump's choice of human beings for, for jobs. I mean, nobody, nobody, like, he knows about ISIS more than the generals, and he knows the best people, so... Military involved in political affairs. All right, so the book of the moment... Uh, it's interesting uh, to a lot of normal people, again, because of Afghanistan and, yes, some of the allegations, revelations in this book. He should be on his way out, General Milley. But no, the swamp loves him. And the why would if if Bob Woodward's a liar and nothing he puts in can be trusted and it's all out of context and it probably happens all the time. Why are you fucking with Milley again? To, honest to God, how is this the argument? I almost feel like this is a, a like a better pushback on Ben Shapiro's uh, clip just because this is exactly right. If you, if you, if you believe Bob Woodward, you, you got to take the good with the bad. But if you're calling him a liar, then why the fuck are you picking on Millie? Critics, they're the ones who don't get it. Republicans don't like this? Mm. This is something, are you so stupid? I just got to ask, are you so stupid? Are you so ignorant of how things work that you don't know that from time to time, generals talk to generals? He's kind of talk. Yeah, and by the way, you can tell why Greg Kelly took this personally. Kind of funny in some sort of weird way. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, no, uh, we know how it works. We know that when you lose a war in such... A humiliating fashion. Humiliating fashion. Uh, we didn't lose the war. Fuck you. When it could have been avoided, and you were... No, it couldn't have been avoided. You know how you avoid it? By staying in forever. The mental part of it, offering up your resignation, is probably a good idea. But For the what? The goal was to get out. We got out. Show me the magic plan Trump had that would have gotten us out without any deaths. And, and I will respond to you that the fact that he did not use it means the plan was never in existence before all this shit. He never intended to leave. And because he was hamstringing the SIV process, he is responsible for the 13 service people who died. Fuck you. Already forgotten about this, and they want you to forget about it. And interesting, these two characters, Joe and Mika, they're married now. But I want to talk a little bit about Mika. Uh, one of the reasons why she's there, she's swamp royalty in a way. Her father was uh, Zbigniew Brzezinski, national security advisor to Jimmy Carter. We all remember what a disaster he was, and there they are in uh, the old Yeah, he created twice as many jobs during his one term than Trump did during his one term. Huh. As it looks like. Uh, together, uh, these men totally... By the way, even before COVID handle the Iranian hostage crisis under their leadership, uh, it became far worse than it probably had to be. You may remember- What are you looking down for, Greg? What are, you, what are you looking, why are you looking down, Greg? When it comes to these kind of things, why would you, um... Hmm? 
Hi, fellow Americans, I have spoken to you from this historic office on many occasions and about many things. The power of the presidency is often thought to reside within this Oval Office, mm -hmm. yet it doesn't rest here. It rests in you, the American people, this and is your, in your fault. trust. Your trust is what gives a president his powers of leadership and his personal strength, and it's what I want to talk to you about this evening. For the past three months, I've been silent on the revelations about Iran. You must have been thinking, well, why doesn't he tell us what's happening? Mm -hmm. Why doesn't he just speak to us as he has in the past when right. he faced troubles or tragedy? How come? Others of you, I guess, were thinking, what's he doing hiding out in the White House? Yeah. Well, the reason I haven't spoken to you before now is this. Mm. You deserve the truth. Oh. And as frustrating as the waiting has been, I felt it was improper to come to you with sketchy reports or possibly even erroneous statements, which would then have to be corrected after people found out I was lying. Even more doubt and confusion. There's been enough of that. Yeah. I paid a price for my silence in terms of your trust and confidence. Mm -hmm. I've had to wait, as you have, for the complete story. That's why I appointed- Have you? <laughs> have you had to wait for the complete story? I had to find- I had to wait to find out what I was doing. Ambassador David Abshire is my special counselor to help get out the thousands of documents to the various investigations. Mm -hmm. And I appoint and the thousands of documents out to the various shredders. Special review board, the tower board, which took on the chore of pulling the truth together for me and getting to the bottom of things. It has now issued its findings. Mm -hmm. I'm often accused of being an optimist, and it's true. I had to hunt pretty hard to find any good news in the board's report. As you know, it's well stocked with criticisms, which I'll discuss in a moment. Uh -huh. But I was very relieved to read this sentence. One sentence. The board is convinced that the president does indeed want the full story to be told. Now, listen, uh, listening back on this, does it sounds like he said the president doesn't indeed want to instead of does indeed. President does indeed want. The board is convinced that the president does indeed want the full story to be told. <laughs> does indeed, does indeed want the story to be told. <laughs> it's a little Freudian slip. And that will continue to be my pledge to you as the. That I does indeed want it. Investigations go forward. I want to thank the members of the panel, mm -hmm. former John, Senator John Tower, former Secretary of State Edmund Muskie, and former National Security Advisor Brent Scowcroft. They have done the nation, as well as me personally, a great service. Mm -hmm. As well as me personally. By submitting a report of such integrity and depth, they have my genuine and enduring gratitude. I've studied the board's report. Mm -hmm. Its findings are honest, convincing, and highly critical, and I accept them. Tonight, I want to share with you my thoughts on these findings. And here it comes. And report to you on the actions I'm taking to implement the board's recommendations. First, let me say I take full responsibility for my own actions and for those of my administration. Except. As angry as I may be about activities undertaken without my knowledge, I am still accountable for those activities. Mm -hmm. As disappointed as I may be in some who serve me, mm -hmm. I am still the one who must answer to the American people for this Fuck you, Oliver North. Behavior. And as personally distasteful as I find secret bank accounts and diverted funds, mm -hmm. as the Navy would say, this happened on my watch. Let's start with the part that is the most controversial. A few months ago, I told the American people I did not trade arms for hostages. My heart and my best intentions still tell me that's true, but the facts and the evidence tell me it is not. Yeah, that your heart and your mind, your uh, you know, sure. Still tell me that's true, but the hostages. My heart and my best intentions still tell me that's true, but the facts and the evidence tell me it is not. Mm -hmm. As the Tower Board reported, what began as a strategic opening to Iran deteriorated in its implementation into trading arms for hostages. Okay. So, um, sorry, we're in the middle of uh, Greg Kelly bloviating about how Carter and the people around him were responsible for how shit went sideways with Iran. 
disastrous rescue mission. So many of our Marines and soldiers left stranded in the desert, horrible fire. It was just botched from beginning to end. Um, but, you know, eh, whatever. You're a Democrat, you're part of the swamp. Uh, How in the fuck, no one shrugged that shit off. The idea that they did is grotesque. It's unpatriotic nonsense. Uh, we still like you and your big new hung around for a long time. And Mika and Joe, um, Millie failing on this scale? Join the club. Don't worry about it. No problem. Here's an... Um, sorry. Uh, according to Bob Woodward. I would, I would appreciate if you would put according to Bob Woodward in all this. ...reason why the Bidens actually like this guy and why he is so dangerous, so strange, and he shouldn't be there. So after January 6th, he put out a letter and had all the other chiefs of staff sign it. And it said this, and I thought it was very, very unnecessary. Let's put it up full, please. On January 20th, 2021, in accordance with the Constitution, confirmed by the states and the courts and certified by Congress, President-elect Biden will be inaugurated and will become our 46th Commander-in-Chief. Right. There was concern that the military might be under the control of Trump and that he might try to divert it somehow or try there, there would be some sort of military coup. It happens in other countries. People were worried about it. It was to avert that concern. He was offering a solution when the problem didn't warrant that. Again, he's going into politics. He keeps apologizing. Excuse me. America matters on the world stage. And letting everyone know that our military is not going to fuck our democracy into a cocked hat is helpful. Going into politics, but he's going into politics. He's not going into politics. And he was appointed by a politician. Your favorite human being, Donald John Trump really is something else. Now, regarding the um, latest allegation in the book, what are you looking down at? Fucking read. Go ahead and tell you what the Pentagon is saying about it now, all right? All calls from the chairman to his counterparts, including those reported, are staffed, coordinated, and communicated with the Department of Defense. All right, this is about the allegation, revelation that he called the top general in China. Excuse me, they're not allegations or revelations. These are lies. From Bob Woodward, who cannot be trusted. Saying that we attack you, we'll give you a heads up first, or... I mean, look, we were not going to attack China. I think Millie is making this stuff up to further enhance his status in the swamp. Let me show you what his then boss said about what Millie may or may not have done. It represents a disgraceful and unprecedented act of insubordination by the uh -huh. nation's top military officer. But says uh, head Trump lackey. Woodward's story of chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Millie's histrionic outbursts and unsanctioned anti-constitutional involvement in foreign policy proved true, must resign immediately or be fired. Again, this was his boss at the time. As Secretary of Defense, I did not and would not ever authorize such conduct. Well, the concern was is that uh, Christopher Miller actually was put in so that Trump could man use the military to protect the January 6 coup attempt and even foment it or add to it. All right. So I don't think it actually happened quite like that. Well, then what the fuck are you talking about this whole time? On the phone, we weren't going to attack China. I think Millie is showing off to people like Bob Woodward to enhance his status in the swamp, and also. So he's just lying about it, and it was just it was he was just shit talking over beers. It never actually occurred during the day. So why the fuck should it matter? The Bidens, because Trump appointed him, and he's, he, he's still in office. He's still got his position who could be jettisoned and he doesn't want to go not yet my thoughts he should have been fired for his conduct last year that walk across the street with the president of the united states was embarrassing and no military guy should do that even to start with they should be aware of it ahead of time strategically speaking if you're a you know military general like that you should recognize that the commander-in-chief is just doing a photo op and and you don't need to be there with him you can have guards go don't don't go uh apologizing for it, that was disgraceful. That was conduct. Yeah, that's that's the important thing. The important thing is is that he was, um, you know, he walked back his walking with the president. Not this. 
not trading arms for hostages with the Iranians and subverting the previous administration. The real crime is not wanting to walk with Donald Trump. Just Jesus Christ. Ugh, it's the end of that.